Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another G.I. Joe Classified Series action figure review and today we have in front of us the Cobra Eel and I think people have been very excited about this one I remember I never had a Cobra Eel I mean I had the second or third version the one with the yellow uh, suit and the red like visor you know the 90s one and uh, I also had wetsuit from the 90s, the one with, which came with a, I don't know, I think, I remember he had like a little kind of glider or vehicle underwater thingy and he had also like a jello helmet. I really need to have a wetsuit figure at some point. I think he'll be, we'll get him at some point, but yeah, uh, this helmet kind of reminds me of that one, so I'm already enjoying this guy. And it's my first time having a Cobra Eel. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Uh, you can see the accessories there. They're not much, but still, I think this guy is, a, let's say, fan favorite. You can see the render there. A little illustration of a helmetless eel. Still nice, nice to have that as well. Uh, legal stuff, more renders. Uh, there you have your QR code. If you want to scan that thing and go and check the internet and yeah you know plastic free packaging we know all of that let's just take this out of the box let's see how this second copy comes out he's looking to the side let me focus there and of course we have the little crate with the number 81 cobra eel and the cobra logo there so let's take this guy out of there and see how good he actually is and there you have a couple of cobra eels out of the packaging and first of all they come of course with their fins there you can see them they have some sculpt detail but they're all cast in black so it's not like uh, you know i mean you can look at the detail but it's just a couple of fins you look more at the shape than the detail in any case here you have the oxygen tank and propulsor it even has a couple of peck holes there you don't want to peck some flames or uh, beam effects or whatever you know flames underwater you know that thing uh, of course i'm saying some bs anyway you have that cool eel logo here with the anchor a little skull there and the eel and some i don't know eggs whatever um yeah nice little thing well backpack the the accessories as you can see are a bit uh, thin on this release but hey the guy is cool you have this helmet cast in translucent plastic just like that and painted all gray with black on top of it this part here i think is a different piece of plastic as well as the you know the breathing apparatus here with the tubes and all of that and a little bit of silver there for the what should be i guess the light and here you have his harpoon both copies came totally bent i'll fix that later i didn't want to waste a lot of time doing that uh, while doing the video you know um this thing you can i guess is to do like this that you put it on the arm and then you somehow fiddle the <laughs> thing in and yeah there you have it and he also comes with a little knife there you have the little knife with a little red handle there and a black blade no silver for that blade anyway because the thing is cast in black of course there you have your cobra eel without helmet um, it can move the head all the way around has tilt to the sides can look up a little bit, you know, has run the double ball picks that sometimes work, sometimes don't. He can look down a little bit. It's more because of the neck to the torso than neck to the head, you know. Um, you know what I mean, I guess, I hope. And um, the arms, they can lift. Come on, man. Do it. Um, they can lift up to almost the T-pose and um, let's talk about that in a moment and he has a diaphragm a diaphragm a butterfly joint that can go backwards that far and forwards that far and can turn all the way around now you have this little piece which is a overlay 
it's like a shoulder pad or a little shoulder arm or whatever you want to call it and it's there of course it hinders the range of the you know the shoulder going up and it also hinders the bicep turning a bit you have to just push the bicep up a little bit and turn it because it will fight against that plastic it's a cool design but uh, yeah it's a bit fiddly there at least for me uh, the elbows are pinless you can bend them all the way that's good you can of course combine how what you bend first this upper part or the lower part to get different angles and all of that and the wrists both have a, a vertical swivel which is good and both have trigger fingers which is also good and can turn all the way and you have the app crunch there that can, can bend backwards that far it can bend forwards that far so he has a good range actually even further and he also has a, a waist that can really move i mean out of the packaging i didn't have to oil it or anything i haven't at least and you ha and he can turn around easily i'm not feeling like i'm forcing anything he can tilt to the sides to the other side and move back and you can also use the diaphragm and you know it doesn't make like a pregnant situation there and you can move it forward as well and it also looks good I mean, uh, what else? Uh, you have this diaper thing here, which hides all of that uh, waist situation. Uh, you have the legs that can do, of course, the full splits. Everybody's better than Spider-Man. And um, <coughs> he can kick backwards almost nothing. He can kick forwards up to 90. And if you do the drop down, he can kick a bit better. Uh, it's okay. I'm not feeling like it's so loose or anything and he can what what else can he he has a thigh cut that can go all the way around he has double jointed pinless knees you have a, a boot cut down here above the ankle and all that but it's it's useful and that's the way they could hide it i mean with this line of the suit anyway the feet can go backwards that far just be careful because it's a little bit gummy or gummy enough that you can you could really stress it if you uh, maneuver with the feet too harshly anyway the feet can go forward that far and they have a decent ankle rocker It's a better one it's not the best but it's a good one and um, now to continue actually checking the details there you can see the angry face on this guy I mean, you could even do some ninja with this head, you know, you could you could use it as a ninja, I mean, with another body, of course. Uh, there you have the, ver the helmeted version. The helmet is a bit fiddly, we'll check that in a moment. The nice Cobra logo came better in this one. This one has a little bit of paint chips there. I don't know if you can see them, I don't know if it's even focusing. Um, red paint gray paint some gray parts are plastic some parts are painted on some black part i mean black is yeah mostly uh, cast plastic and some details are just painted on whatever he has this sheet for the knife let's do that now just because we want to there you have it and uh, at the back yeah nothing that you cannot see for yourself i mean the details are really uh, simple yeah something that is not that simple and it's cool to see is this little you know this little m monitor he has there on his uh, arm guard whatever uh, uh, don't ask me what uh, barometer what a radar whatever something like that and missing the the ideas right now in the morning uh, the backpack we checked it already you just align these things here you just put it on i mean i'm teaching you how to <laughs> of course i mean not teaching i'm just joking you know showing on camera the kind of obvious things here there you the helmet that's the thing which is a bit like uh, fiddly because you just have to put it on at least is the way i find i found myself uh, you know like the best way to do it at least for me i put my 
thumb here below his uh, jaw kind of to to start turning that helmet in the head because it's very tight and you want the eyes to be at a certain height I, th I think I still haven't reached the point I want to reach and of course you want it to be centered centered you know and you want it to be yeah you know that the eyes look true enough I'll leave it there for now I'm not still I'm still not super satisfied with how much I could manage to but uh, then you peg the tubes here at the you know oxygen tank here and yeah there you have your cobra eel well you still have to put the fins on you just slide them in like this oh, come on and like this and there you have it now now for real the second cobra eel just standing all wrong there and for size comparisons, there you have your Cobra Eels next to Pandora, Eclipse and the Scar Trooper Mike. Next to a Cobra Viper, a Crimson Guard and a Crimson Bat. Next to a couple of Snow Serpents and the Desert Commando Snake Eyes. And next to the Baroness and a couple of Cobra Valkyries. I think the Cobra Eel is a great figure. Uh, a bit gummy there on the legs, especially with the that little boot cut. I think people are liking them as well, so it's up to you if you want to build a little squad of eels or a huge army of eels, whatever. I'm fine with a couple or three of them, you know. Um, in any case, it's up to you. I hope the review was helpful. Please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe and all of that good stuff. Take care and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.